Hi folks, this is Scott, son of a hillbilly, also your vintage lens guy. I do a little bit of everything, but I'm going to concentrate on vintage lenses in this particular video. And I've got a bunch of them to show you. Let's get started. What I do with these, well, let me explain first before we get started. What I do is I love to shoot photography and videos with vintage lenses. Being a son of a hillbilly, I like to take a lot of the old and new and mix them together. You know how the sons are always looking to do something new. So this hillbilly is picking up vintage lenses and putting them on modern cameras. I use a Panasonic GH4. Uh, I'm sorry. Brain cramp. GH2. I also use a Panasonic G7. I'm shooting on the GH2 right now. Wish I had a G4, but a G2 will work just fine. And I use adapters for these vintage lenses. So I've got a variety of different lenses. I'm out here at Orchard Lake today, and I'm going to be doing some photography out here, and I'm going to show you some of the pictures that I've taken with these vintage lenses. So why don't we get started with a few of them that I have. First one I'm going to be using today is this beauty right here. And this is a Sigma 400 millimeter f5.6 lens. And it's a, a beauty. This thing can really zoom in. Now with the two times crop factor that I have on this on both of these cameras, it's going to be very close to an 800 millimeter lens with this. So that ought to zoom stuff right in. So we're going to do some of that today. Nice lens. It had a uh, lens fil or filter on it, and the filter was so dirty I thought I was shooting through a gauze or something. So I just took that off for now, and I'll put a new filter on it later. Okay, so that's the first lens we have. Next lens I have is a I think it's pronounced Soligar or Sol Soligar, and this one is a 230 millimeter lens. It's a zoom, so this thing will zoom from what does it say here? 90 to 230 millimeters at a what is this f? It doesn't say. Oh, 4.5, 4.5. So this is 4.5. Well, I find on some of these old vintage lenses, they don't do so well at the lowest or the, the widest aperture setting. So I usually set them up to around a, a 7 or 8, and I really get some good photos that way. Next lens is another one of my favorites. This is the Nikkor. Um, what is this? 80 to 200 millimeters f4.5 lens. Now this one's a beauty. Simple slide zooming. And this is the model with the rectangular back end. So it's supposed to be, as far as Ken Rockwell says, one of the test 10 best Canon, or I mean Nikon, Nikon lenses ever made. One of the 10 best Nikon lenses ever made. And I've got it. Next one is a, uh, what is this thing? 75 to 200 millimeters, five star uh, F4.5. And this one is a Olympus mount. So I've got an Olympus adapter on the back of it for right now. So we'll see how that one does today. Then I have a Canon, a Canon zoom. This is an FD lens. It's a 100 to 200 millimeter 5.6. I shot some uh, pictures with it. It does a pretty decent job. Then I've got this, this is a Tonkina, or Tokina, I don't know how you pronounce it, T-O-K-I-N-K-I-N-A, Tokina. And this one is 80 to 200 millimeters. See, I've got a lot of 200 millimeter zooms here. And it's an F4. So we'll see how this one does, and this one is an FD mount. Next one I have is a Bushnell. Now this Bushnell is an M43 mount, so it's a screw type of mount on the back back here. And you have to use a screw style of adapter for it. Now, another thing about all these vintage lenses, they're all manual, so you have to manual focus everything. What's nice about the GH2 and the G7 is you can hit magnification. I'm sure it's on a lot of micro four thirds cameras you can do that. And um, make your picture larger so you can get a better focus that way. But this lens, I've taken some pictures with it pretty sharp lens, nice lens. Then I have a lens called a matrix. Now this matrix is um, 
a 28 to 75 millimeter zoom. It's a 3.5 to 4.5. And it is a macro lens too. And I got to tell you, I've shot with this lens, super sharp in macro. Love the macro capabilities of this lens. So this is one of my favorite macro lenses. Now those are all my large zoom lenses that I have. I've got a variety of other lenses too. This is very popular. This is your Canon. Uh, and the, the cap's a little tight on that because there's a little bend on, you know, these lenses when they get this old, you know, you're going to get little boo-boos with them. And the, the screw part is a little bent on it. But this is a Canon FD 50mm 1.4 lens. And that's a pretty fast lens, and it takes some great portraits. I mean, it's a nice lens for portrait shooting. I've done really good with um, landscape shooting with it, all kinds of stuff. Next is another 50 millimeter Canon. This is the Canon FD 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. And actually, with that 1.4, that 1.4, I've got two of them. The 1.8 50 millimeter, I've got two of them. So right there's four different Canon FD lenses that I have. Next, I have the Pentax. Uh, it's a 50 millimeter, and it's a two for, it's an F2. And this is an SMC, and I've got two of those. Really good deal on this one. Saw on Craigslist where someone was giving away his uh, Pentax K1000 camera if someone would come take it. So I got the camera, this lens, and a really nice case for free. Chunked the, the camera body because he had disassembled it trying to fix it. He didn't know it was wrong. He had no idea what he was doing. But I wanted that lens, and I got a really nice camera body and a great strap and everything, too. So love to get those deals. Next lens I have is another Canon FD lens. This is a two point, it's a 28 millimeter F2.8. This one's super sharp. I love this lens. Uh, I, I think it even outperforms those 50 millimeters. I mean, it does great. I don't always shoot at f2.8. I shoot, you know, somewhere around a 5 with this lens. Crisp, super sharp. This is nice, fast lens, and I can go down to 2.8, and it still keeps a nice, sharp picture. Next lens I have is another uh, Tokina. This is a Tokina. Basically, I'm in the 28 millimeter range now. That's my first 28 millimeter. I have four of them. This is the second one. Tokina 28 millimeter 2.8. And I've shot some pictures with this. Pretty decent lens. I get some really nice um, you know, images out of it. And this is a Pentax mount, and I've got a, a Pentax adapter on the base of it. Now, I've got two of these guys. These are called an Albinar. An Albinar. 28 millimeter 2.8 lens so albinar 28 millimeter millimeter 2.8 i've taken some pictures with these not bad you know not the crispest super 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 crisp but pretty darn good definitely usable and i wouldn't have any any problems using that to take uh portraits of people and stuff like that just have to make sure i'm focused in properly okay incorrect you know focused correctly not improperly <laughs> Never mind, <laughs> you know, saying things funny. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and start. I've got my tripod back here. I'm going to mount first. I've got the base mount on this 400 millimeter. There's no way I can hand shoot a 400 millimeter lens. But let's get started and see if I can get some good images. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures with all these different lenses, and then I'll list them after this video to show you how they all turned out and maybe give my thoughts at the end. Until then, this is Scott. Enjoy the pictures.